48-year-old COVID-19 patient died early this morning at the Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Rims, Imphal. The male patient had been suffering from chronic kidney disease before he was infected by coronavirus on July 26. The disease was a resident of Leimokong. He died of renal failure, hospital sources informed. India today reported the biggest single-day spike of 52,123 coronavirus cases, taking the total cash load closer to 16 lakh. As of today, India has registered 15,83,792 coronavirus cases. The country's total death toll is also nearing 35,000 after 775 new fatalities were reported in the past 24 hours, as per media reports. Manipur Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jayanti Kumar Singh today attended a webinar with Minister of State Independent Charge for Ayush, Government of India, Sripat Naik. The webinar was held to discuss NAM and Ayush Health and Wellness Centre under the Ayushman Bharat. States like Orissa, Bihar and Assam are now witnessing a sharper rise in cases. Orissa currently has nearly 10,000 active cases. According to media reports, 1,348 more people have tested positive for coronavirus, taking the total number of cases to 36,295. Three Jawans of four Assam rifles were killed and five others critically injured in an ambush in Sazik Kongtal area under Chakpi Karong police station of Chandal district last night. The unidentified assailants triggered three IEDs before opening fire on the Assam rifles patrol team, sources said. The deceased personnel have been identified as Havildar Prane Kalita from Assam, Rifleman Methana Konyak from Nagaland and Rifleman Ratan Salam from Kakching, Manipur. The injured Jawans are Subedar Nungkotil Haukip, Havildar Nitul Sharma, Naik Sikander Singh, Rifleman Sandeep Singh and Rifleman Anish Kumar of four Assam rifles Bikoi and Ekoi. Police detain and fine people who defied curfew and lockdown in the border town of Moray today. A team led by additional superintendent of police operations, M. Amit, carried out a drive at various places of Moray town. Kangabo constituency under Thobal district was sanitized today using sodium hypochlorite. The district has been declared a containment zone by the district administration after a surge in the number of COVID-19 positive cases.